Christy, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, how big was it for Jada to come out there in the third quarter and score those six points right off the bat to kind of give you some space? Yeah. You know, I thought Jada Boy did a great job, gave us a real lift. She does that a lot. She's just so athletic and long. Um, but, yeah, we were able to, to get the ball inside to her there a couple of times, and she did a really nice job of finishing. Uh, but you're right, you know, we needed a lift. We needed a bolt of energy, and uh, I thought she really gave that to us. Bridget Condon, ABC 11, go ahead. Hey, Coach, um, two questions. I just want to start and ask, you know, it's been two weeks since you guys played. How nice is it to just have that, you know, worry of what are you going to look like when you get out on the court and, and be able to move on? Yeah, you know, uh, it wasn't pretty. And, uh, you know, you, you always struggle with how to handle that, how much time to give them off and and how hard to go, how many days to go and all those things. And, uh, you know, I, I think we we just uh, – we didn't have our energy. You know, we didn't have our mojo, so to speak. And, uh, you know, we need to find that in a hurry. But, you know, part of it, you got to give North Carolina A&T a lot of credit. They came out and hit shots, you know, and – and we, we felt like they were so athletic, so explosive that we wanted to try to contain them and, and try to force them to shoot jump shots. And they made them, you know. They knocked down a lot of good shots. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, we seemed to uh, kind of lose, lose our energy. And, and uh, fortunately, you know, we were able to, to get going and transition a little bit and see the ball go through the net a few times. But, uh, uh, yeah, we got to we – gotta, I mean, this is the time of year you work, you've worked so hard, so long for. Uh, my goodness, you got to come out here and, and be ready to go. So hopefully we'll be better on uh, Tuesday. And then real quick, you said on the broadcast you hadn't had a chance to catch up with Kayla yet. I just wanted to know if you had talked to her before talking with us and if you had any update. Yeah, you know, really they don't know. Uh, you know, we've got a doctor with us, traveling with us, and they said they'll just uh, – probably get an MRI tonight and, and see what it is, what's going on in there. Uh, you know, we don't think it's an ACL or anything like that, uh, but obviously it's really tender and and uh, all those things So to the touch. So, you know, hopefully get some ice on it. Hopefully she'll feel better, uh, you know, start feeling better tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Obviously she's a big part of what we do and a great leader for us. But, uh, you know, really won't know until we uh, get that later tonight. Brad Friedlander, North State Journal. Go ahead. Hi, Wes. Um, Hi. Speaking of getting your mojo back, how big was that three by Genesis Bryant there late yeah. in the first half to kind of get that that uh, run going? And yeah. I heard you say on TV that during the past two weeks, she has really looked good in practice. Yeah. And how, did you kind of plan on her playing more? Or that, was yeah. that more with um, uh, you know foul trouble and injuries that she yeah. got the playing time? Yeah, I mean it's a combination, obviously. But I told her, uh, I told her yesterday in practice, you're going to be our first option uh, on the perimeter coming off the bench. Uh, how impressed I was with her in practice. You know, she was, you know, coming out of high school. Uh, she's, you know, really solid numbers. I mean, she's really close. She was really close to being a 90, 50, 40 player, 90 percent from the foul line, 50 from the field, and 40 percent from the three. So she can shoot the ball. But she's been looking really good in practice. And so I wanted to get her out there. Jakia Brown-Turner picked up a couple of quick fouls. You know, we decided to let her go to the offensive boards. And, yeah, she got a double-double, but uh, she also picked up some quick fouls. So going to have to be a little smarter there. Um, and then with, with KJ also, uh, it did give uh, Genesis a, a lot of opportunity. And I thought she did an outstanding job with it. Mike Tilker. Uh, hey there, Coach. Um, congrats on the win. I, I wanted to go to the second quarter there. You guys obviously finished the first half, I think, on a 13 and nothing run. And you mentioned some of the shots falling. Could you pinpoint maybe what the difference was? Because you carried it over to the second half. What, what kind of changed there? Well, I mean, again, I thought we did a better job in transition. Um, you know, we want to we want to push the ball and, and try to spread people out. And so I thought we got some buckets in transition. Um, you know, I don't know. Again, they did a really good job. They were they were collapsing and doubling on on Elisa Canane in there, and uh, you know, I think Elisa had to recognize it, settle down a little bit. You know, she can uh, she can really do a good job of passing out of the double when she'll slow down a little bit. And I thought she did a better job of that. Uh, and again, I think Jen gave us a lift. Jada Boyd gave us a lift. Uh, so I'm not sure until I watch the film. I don't I don't know exactly, but. Uh, 
you know, I think, too, we got some stops finally. You know, when you're taking it out of the net and taking it out of bounds and they're pressing you or whatever a little bit, uh, it does kind of mess with your ability to, to get in a flow. So I think we got some stops, and that allowed us to score a little bit, uh, you know, off our defense. Andrew Schnicker. Wes, how important is it not just for obviously the contributions that she made today, but for somebody like Genesis to get into a game like this and get that experience in an NCAA tournament game? How important is that too for her future as a key contributor for this program? Yeah, uh, without a doubt. And, you know, it was good for her to play that well because uh, moving forward now, I think she'll uh, have that to draw from and lean on a little bit. And, uh, you know, again, uh, she it takes a freshman some time. I know they're all, you know, we're in a microwave society. Everybody wants it to happen right now. But, um, you know, it, it does. It's a big jump from high school to this level. And uh, the ACC, for instance, that's a, that's a big jump. So it takes people some time. Uh, but, again, very encouraged uh, late in the year with how she's looked. And I uh, thought she deserved opportunity. And I, I thought she did it. Again, ran with it. So hopefully that's going to help her come Tuesday night as well to, to be comfortable. Christy Reichen, Associated Press. I think you've got uh, 33, 33 points off the bench. How big is it, especially this time of year, to have people, aside from your top stars, to really be contributing like that? Yeah, you know, Jada Boyd's done that for us all year. And, uh, you know, Camille Hobby has as well some. Uh, but, but, you know, obviously today Jada Boyd gave us a big lift coming in, scoring 18 points. And then Jen having nine points herself, uh, that's a pretty good boost you're getting from, uh, from those players. So, uh, like I said, gives us some confidence moving forward and being able to go a little bit deeper uh, on our bench and, uh, and feeling comfortable with it. So it was good to see, obviously. Corey Smith. Coach Moore, you know, obviously not a not a good situation with having Kayla Jones go out in this mm -hmm. game, but is this kind of best case scenario in the sense that you had the struggles early on, you can get you can kind of learn from that and use that as a teachable moment and still come away with a comfortable win uh, and be able to rest your rest your you know star players at the, in the fourth quarter heading into Tuesday night? Yeah. Uh but no, personally, I'd rather have jumped out early to start the game and, and been clicking and firing on all cylinders. So, uh, you know, we didn't, you know, we didn't particularly look like a, a number one seed or any of that uh, in that first half. So, uh, like I said, hopefully uh, it was just a situation where maybe we we've been off so long and and all maybe uh, you know maybe this will help us knock off a little bit of the rust and. And maybe draw from it, have some confidence. But uh, you know, we're gonna have to play a lot better moving forward. Again, we did some great things. You know, I, I thought you know Kyle Crutchfield did a did a really nice job defending, uh, and then you know we out we out rebounded them comfortably. I think we gave up uh, six total offensive boards, but two of those were team rebounds. So really, only gave up four offensive boards. So uh, that's pretty impressive because they are a great offensive rebounding team. Uh, so, you know, they, they presented some things. I mean, they're going to deny passes. They're going to get in the passing lanes. They're going to be great on the boards. You know, they're, they're like top four in the country and forced turnovers and steals. So, uh, you know, they can make you look ugly at times. So, you know, maybe that's good for us to uh, have to go against some of those things uh, before we head into the next round. Final question for Coach. We'll go to Bridget Condon from ABC 11. Hey, Coach, I want to ask you something unrelated to the game. This is the first time we've talked to you this week. Obviously, you've seen everything with the differences between the women's and the men, and you know you are getting a lot of equipment now for the workout room for the women's. But for you, being you know a man in this female-dominated uh, league and knowing how hard these girls work, does it what, what does it make you feel like having to explain to them, I'm sorry that it is the way that it yeah. is? Yeah, it's disappointing, obviously. Uh... You know, uh, I think our game's gotten pretty popular and taken some great strides. Uh, you know, a lot of that credit goes to some of our trailblazing coaches. You know, I was fortunate to be around Pat Summit uh, my first six years as a college coach right in her backyard. Uh, Kay Yao was an assistant for her. And those people had to fight so many battles for us to get where we are. But we still, you know, we still have a ways to go. And, uh, yeah, it was very, you know, very disappointing, obviously. Our, our kids, uh, 
you know, worked hard, and, and this is it. This is your big stage. I mean, this is what you put all that time in the last year, basically, de- leading up to this. So you want it to be a first-class uh, situation, first-class opportunity, and, and I'm very appreciative of the NCAA and all they're going through to, to make it happen this year. Uh, but, you know, there's, some, there's still some things that are getting overlooked and uh, shouldn't be. So hopefully, uh, you know, social media sometimes is good, sometimes it's bad. But, you know, it definitely, in this case, brought some attention and got some results. And uh, hopefully we'll keep making strides. And, uh, again, really proud of our players and all they've gone through to, to get to this point. And, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to grow the game. Coach, thank you for your time today, and best of luck in the next round. Thank you. Appreciate it.